Hey, good morning friends, how are you? Welcome back to Obscure Rides. Today I would like to get away from our European corner and get to a Japanese section in the shop. I would like to talk to you about something very cool. American version of Honda Gyro. Let me introduce you to this real piece of machinery that puts the fun in funny. The 1986 Honda Gyro. Now, I know what you're thinking. A Honda Gyro, that sounds like something you used to make a salad with. But let me tell you, this little guy is more than just a kitchen gadget. The Honda Gyro is a three-wheeled scooter that looks like a cross between a motorbike and a bubble car. And riding it is an experience unlike any other. It is like being in your own personal amusement park ride. The gyro could lean into corners like a motorbike but with the stability of a car. And let's not forget about the unique tilt locking system that allows you to park the scooter upright without using a kickstand. I mean, who needs kickstand anyway? Amateurs? But the real reason you want a gyro is that it's just so darn cool. You'll feel like a badass zooming around town on this thing. And if anyone gives you any grief about it, just tell them it's a vintage collector's item. That's right, you're not just riding a scooter, you're preserving a piece of history. And if anyone questions you about it, just tell them that it is the right of choice for the coolest cats in town. So, boys and girls, if you want to ride in style and make a statement, then the 1986 Honda Gyro is the way to go. It's quirky, it's fun, and it's guaranteed to turn heads. And who knows, you might even be mistaken for the legendary stuntman Evil Knievel. So today we'll try to resurrect this little gem. Uh, it's in a state of ran when parked. And I know this for a fact because I am the one who parked it when it ran. But it's been sitting for a while and uh, the gasket under the carburetor uh, got kind of dry. So once you turn the fuel on, it starts leaking all over the engine. All right, let's take this baby to the back and get a closer look at her. There were a total of seven different gyro versions produced since 1981 all the way through 2008. That's when the name gyro was dropped because the 49cc two-stroke 3.7 horsepower engine used on all of these for years was swapped for a four-stroke. All right, people, enough of WikiLeaks. Let's get to work. We're going to remove the airbox. We're going to remove the choke and the throttle pin and get to carb. Now, to do this exercise, all you need between her legs is the Phillips screwdriver and a 10 mil socket. Now, once the carb is out, I'm going to give you a money saving tip. Drain your fuel back to the tank. With prices like this right now, it's probably about a dollar worth. Two screws holding the carb together. We're going to split it in half and see what's inside. Well, gasket appears to be in a very good shape, nothing dry rotted. So what I'm going to do is just apply a very thin layer of uh, liquid gasket on a surface and reseal everything. See if that will help. I think it was just the bolt came loose or something. Let's work it out and see. Oh, for the peak sake come on little buddy what is going on over here all right here we go and while you're in there check out for float level blow out cobwebs dirt and all this stuff once it's all done, we can put carp back together. Make sure you don't drop nothing in the engine. Because Especially if you have Gigantosaurus hands, it's going to be pain in the butt to take out. And for the life of me, I cannot find a magnet 
but I placed somewhere, so I gotta use the next best one. The next best tool available. There you go, back in business. All right, she's back together. Uh, I'll let her dry up for an hour or so, and then we'll start her up, see how she runs. Let's see what we got. people that's gonna be it for today with Honda gotta get me a fuel filter I gotta adjust the carb and she is going to be up to the standard thank you for watching I will see you next time <laughs>